watches for her he who watches for her at dawn at dawn shall not, shall be, not be disappointed for him for he shall find her for he shall find her sitting by his gate sitting by his gate this was a i opener for me i used to get up those days much late but then i realized someone is waiting early in the morning at my door so before i sleep i have this thinking before in the night so that is wrong so when i sleep i know early in the morning she is there so i must sleep early okay so with this thought i am sleeping and as soon as i get up the first thing i say oh welcome wisdom come you are waiting for me give me wisdom this become my personal prayer a little changed and that gave me such an enthusiasm to pray in the morning before that i was so oh, today i have to get up i have to do my personal prayer meditation oh i was feeling it is a struggle but since then i began to pray for wisdom i always had a joy to jump to get up without any hey, giddiness or without any murmuring yes wisdom come and then i read few passages of the book of wisdom and i pray for wisdom and then i began to receive more and more uh, revelations what is that revelations so that is how i would recommend you these days and once you get into that habit your whole life will be super your ministry will be super your daily life will be something totally different all your problems all your problems will be solved now before we go to wisdom 77 let us see in wisdom chapter 6 11 to 15 there are four points how can you receive wisdom wisdom chapter 6 verse 6 11 verse 11 says desire therefore my words long for them and you shall be instructed yes resplendent wait wait wait. wait 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 please repeat that word 11 desire therefore my word desire therefore my word that is the word of god desire for the word of god long and for them long for them you shall receive wisdom you shall be instructed yes so word of god i was showing you that expression the byzantine liturgy says wisdom be attentive so word of god is god's wisdom so believe that the word you are receiving is the wisdom of god it is not coming from any human sources that is the first way So when you read the word of God read it with that that thirst that recognition yes i am receiving the wisdom of God long for it long for it now all this thing is some nothing new you are already in it every day you read so much scripture those days when we attended the first charismatic retreat what do you decide is yes, i should have a, my own bible okay you fallen in love with the word of god and then you began to under underline color so many things my other bibles are torn off because of coloring it's colored 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 so i got another one this is not colored 
But I remember certain chapters which you repeatedly you realize this is very important, this is very important, this is very important, oh this is very very important. Then not only coloring, then you started writing on the on the uh, on the sides, many comments. V V V V very 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 important. <laughs> that is called long for it, the word of God. So that word transmit wisdom. And second, what is wisdom? It is resplendent. Is. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom. Yeah, resplendent and unfailing is wisdom. God's wisdom is unfailing. It will never fail. It is eternal. It never ends. It is so powerful. It is such a great light. Continue. And she is readily perceived by those who love her. Those who love her. No, that's the point. Readily perceived for those who love her. Love whom? Love wisdom. See, this is to understand what is your passion? What do you love more? Think. One concept is you become one with what you love. If you love your wife, you become one. If you don't love your wife, <laughs> you know the problem then. <laughs> so, for that matter, you love anybody and anything. Now, this is Kerala. If you love gold, <laughs> eh? if you love gold, you become like gold <laughs> or you will fall in love. Anywhere you see a board about gold, you will step down there. Let me have a look. Eh? Some new varieties have come. And your husband will say, oh, no, 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 come, come, come. I have no money. No, no, I'm just going to see that. Only to see. For seeing, we don't have to pay any money. Okay. See that desire because you love gold. And once you entered there, the salesman know that you are a lover of gold then he will start telling all interesting proposals and he makes sure that you buy that so the same way if you love something else so what you love you will have you will have such an intimacy with what you love so if you love wisdom that's the point. Love wisdom. When you love wisdom, it will immediately flow into you. So when you love wisdom, one point I would recommend or I would say, why, why we should love wisdom? God is in me. He should give me wisdom. But wisdom cannot flow you to you if you think, oh, I know, I know everything. I am so many years in the renewal. I am a preacher for so many years. I am a counselor for so many years. I know these things. Now, that is the stop of all wisdoms flowing. That is why we have to love. We have to desire. We have to open. That's why we have to understand what we do not know is, a, is an ocean. There is so much thing we have to know. What we already know is only very little. Oh Lord, I want to know more. This attitude is important. I, what I know, yes, I know many things, but that is nothing. Now, last two days back, we were celebrating the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas. He wrote the maximum writings and works on theological what role there are universities of named after him but eventually what he said oh my lord what a wisdom you are whole life you are sitting writing 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 all what i have written is nothing but straw comparing to the wisdom what you are all the great theologians, St. Augustine, 
Oh my God. Saint Thomas. All these people. So this wisdom. What God has given to Saint Therese. Or John of the Cross. Or Saint Augustine. Or Thomas Aquinas. All this wisdom is also given to us. But we have to love wisdom. We have to be ready to perceive. That's all. Okay. So the next word 11, 12, 13. What is 13? And found by those who seek her. Yeah. Found by those who seek her. So now already we read three points. How to receive wisdom. First point is. Word desire. of God. Long for the word of God. Desire for the word of God. Not simply one passage. I will let you know later on. Some new ways to understand deeper way the scripture. That is one way. Second is love wisdom. Third is seek wisdom. Fourth is pray. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of men's desire. Yes, in anticipation of men's desire. The wisdom, no, already you are a friend of wisdom. So the wisdom will take initiative. Oh, this I have to tell Thomas Paul today, tomorrow morning. This I have to tell tomorrow morning. Because if I, if the wisdom tell to Thomas Paul, he will immediately proclaim to thousands of people. That is why I say when you share, then wisdom is happy to give you more. If you don't share, why should he, she give you wisdom? So when you receive a wisdom, if you immediately share, spontaneously you share, this is an idea I got. It's a good insight. And when you share, wisdom is very happy. And then more and more wisdom will give to you. Okay, now 14 says early he in the morning. who watches for her at dawn yeah. shall not be disappointed. So our personal prayer should not be just a ritual. Our personal prayer itself should be begin with prayer for wisdom. Then the rest of the prayer you will have no difficulty. We pray many things. But Jesus said your father knows what you need. Prayer is a great mystery. You know a few days or few years back. I was in the adoration in the night praying and the Lord said in fact that scripture I read many times but that day when the scripture came from my heart it says if it is Mark chapter 14 32 Mark chapter 14 32 says he came to a place called Gethsemane and he said to the disciples, sit with me while I pray. <laughs> sit with me while I pray. Oh, so I don't have to pray. Uh -huh. Yes, you don't pray. I pray for you. Uh -huh. Whose prayer is better? I was thinking, oh, I was a great prayer man. I was a praying man. I do 40 days fasting and prayer. I do 24 hours adoration. I do many night vigils. I am a man of prayer. <laughs> but here Jesus said, you only sit with me. I pray for you. What an I open? Please read. 14.32 Mark 1432. 1432. 1432. The agony in the garden. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples. He said to his disciples. Everybody louder please. Louder. Shout out this word. Sit here while I pray. Sit here. While. I pray. I pray. Everybody a little more clearly. Sit here while Sit I pray. Sit here while I pray. But say like this. Sit here. Sit here. While I pray. While I pray. 
and the whole night i sat there and i said yes lord i don't pray i only receive you are praying to god the father and you give me the outcome of the prayer uh huh it was fantastic you do it tonight sometime in the chapel go there only sit with him he said jesus you said sit with me i pray i believe you are praying and you are a eternal priest you are always praying even this prayer is entered into eternity every prayer in the gospel where many places we see jesus prayed whole night jesus prayed that every prayer of jesus is an eternal prayer eternal prayer it never passes away it is even now every prayer jesus prayed is eternal so you say jesus that day you prayed like this that is eternal i believe it is for me too <sighs> see this is how the wisdom works and nowadays when i sit in the chapel when jesus is enthroned in adoration you can do many other but at least sometime i say lord it is not me who is praying you are praying you are interceding for me pray and then what i do i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you believing is important i believe jesus you are praying for me you are in me you know what i need better than me i pray from my intelligence what i human conviction through human conviction what i want but that is not the real prayer saint john of the cross in his mount carmel ascent to carmel mount carmel there is a beautiful picture about this word he said a mother specially prepared some nice food for the child so she went to marketing for that she purchased this particular good which is food which is good for a child she brought it home she cooked it with a great enthusiasm my child need this but at the dining table with great enthusiasm she presented my dear this i prepared only for you <laughs> the child started crying no i don't want that i want this food what you eat <laughs> my child that is hot this is with red chili and this, this this is not good for you this will burn your stomach you will cry <laughs> i don't want that. now finally the father and mother said okay then you take this otherwise you will not eat anything john of the cross says this is how our prayers are we are crying for something okay so the lord is satisfying our cry but what the lord prepared for us which is numerously greater no i have seen no ears have heard no mind could conceive such a great thing god has prepared for us is remaining there we have not received it because we with our human understanding think this is good for me give me that give me that give me that give me that no pray today this way oh lord you are praying for me and you know what is good for me and father you have already prepared something much greater than what my mind can conceive beyond my understanding which is already ready give me that i tell you there will be a radical change in your spiritual life you will surely receive it because god has already prepared this for us according to his riches according to his thing plan i have often seen 
So therefore my prayer is always like this nowadays. Complete change in our praying pattern itself. So that's what today Father Augustine was telling, no? See, we need to develop new ideas even in prayer. Prayer, why Jesus himself is the best model of prayer for us. Why was he praying? So prayer has, we will deal that later, but to understand wisdom, to pray, you need wisdom. Otherwise, you simply ask what your mind thought, what you need according to your thinking. But that is not the wisdom of prayer. A prayer, a wisdom, when you pray for, when you pray, the wisdom will teach you, don't ask anything according to your ideas. But just allow the Lord, just receive what He is praying and giving to you, that's all. So today, in the leisure time and even in the night, whenever you have the free times when you are thinking, stop asking for the things what you already understand, but ask for things which you don't understand in the sense, Lord, you know what I need and you already prepared something greater than what I could understand. Now, in the book of Wisdom, chapter 7, 7-7, seven, 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 not seven, Solomon said, <laughs> this is an interesting testimony of Solomon. Solomon said, I prayed. And wisdom and riches wisdom, came to him. Yeah. And riches came to him. Yeah. Word 7, is read 7. Wisdom, chapter 7, verses 7. Therefore I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne and, de and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any okay. priceless gem to her. I think it is time for a break. I think, eh? shall we stop now? We will continue this after the break. So we take about one hour break. So this is the time for you not only to have 